we have three does here that are wormy some a little more than others they came up with their worm problem after they had their babies now that is normally the uh, time where does are going to be the most susceptible to worms their immunity goes down uh, they had been wormed last month but it didn't seem to uh, help that so what we're doing we're isolating them the uh, babies are two and a half months old we're pulling the mothers off we're putting them in this pen right here it's a 50 by 40 and it also it goes under the barn uh, where they have can be in the barn this is used uh, in the winter when we're kidding where mothers with new babies um, will be in here to be out of the weather while they're getting a little older then we had bottle babies in here then we had uh, some young bucks that had been weaned that were in here so uh, if any of them had worms they would uh, have to spread some of that in this area what we're doing is burning all of the vegetation that's in this area so any worms that would have been still in the pellets would uh, be killed we're not quite through here I got another uh, hour or so where I'll be burning this that means that these girls as they drop their pellets uh, they won't be picking up any new worms in this pen we can also put them inside here shut this up so uh, there's absolutely nothing from vegetation where the pellets could uh, have worms that they would pick up we can also clean this up very quickly most of that's straw from the hay that uh, they wouldn't eat anyway <clears throat> for the worms or the pellets that have uh, the eggs that has to have water get in that so we're going to have to have rain before those can hatch we're in the beginning of summer right now so there's not going to be uh, that much rain for them to uh, hatch any eggs that they're producing now we'll uh, dose them higher with the uh, uh, worm medication to help knock the worms out from them and pellets that they drop in here we will have that where there's nothing for them to uh, crawl up uh, as they hatch. Uh, if we do have some rain it still takes a couple of weeks for the eggs to hatch. We can put them in the, the pen area, feed hay and go ahead and uh, burn this again. The other thing, once, once you burn this and it gets like this right here, uh, the heat of the sun will kill those pellets. Uh, and so that's what we're looking for. We don't want any uh, shade or anything like that that the pellets can be hiding in. We want the ground to be bare. We want them eating uh, the hay and any pellets they're dropping. We want that to uh, uh, be killed by the heat of the sun or we will burn this again. And uh, once we got them off good, then we will be putting them out and this will be setting with nothing in it for uh, the rest of the summer. So the heat will kill any of that. What we're wanting is for them not to be dropping pellets out with the rest of the goats where their worms will be stronger resistant because they've been wormed more and uh, possibly affect others. These will be, uh, three of these will be culled because uh, this is their first time kidding and uh, uh, they didn't do as well with worms. Uh, others that we had that were first time kidders uh, were in the same place, uh, pastures had their kids at the same time and they didn't have the worm problem so what we want is to uh, cull these and make sure that we're keeping the ones that have the least worm problems uh, we have one girl over here she didn't have the worm problems and uh, we were just going to go ahead and um, break her uh, her kid from uh, eating for, uh, nursing from her and so we'll do that. She won't have any problem of picking worms up from them because all of this grass will be uh, killed today and there won't be any place where the worms can hatch and crawl up for them to eat. So we think this is a good way of handling some of your more wormy uh, goats for a time to help get them recover. 
and help them uh, shred, uh, shed some of the, the stronger worms that they have now because they've been wormed more. And then we can uh, go ahead and take them out later on and sell them whenever they're not uh, having the worm problems. They didn't have worm problems before they kitted, so it's not that they have worm problems constantly, it's just that during that stress, they did have worm problems and they might not have it again since they uh, can build up their uh, resistance.